Uh, since I've done uh, the lumbar plexus, I thought I'll do the sacral plexus as well. <clears throat> uh, so the landmarks for sacral plexus, uh, there are two uh, ways of doing sacral plexus. One is called the uh, Mansur's uh, parasacral block. So the point is, is basically you have the posterior stability spine, which you have already marked for the lumbar plexus. And the other one is the ischial tuberosity. So you draw a line uh, joining the two. In Mansur's point, what you do is you actually go six centimeters from the uh, posterior spelic spine. Okay, so it's fixed, six centimeters. And try to get the response you would normally see from the your uh, the uh, either uh, common peroneal or tibial response. It doesn't matter what response you can see with the sacral plexus. But this is the one which we normally uh, use. So in this case, again, it is uh, upper one-third and lower two-third. Okay, so you marked into three parts. Okay, so the point for sacral plexus is the upper one-third and lower two-third. So again, for lumbar plexus, it is upper one-third, lower two-third, or little one-third, middle two-third. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do here. The skin, everything has been prepared uh, with chlorhexidine. Uh, we use a, a sterile marker, but you can use normal marker as well. It's just explaining again on the uh, video, uh, little one-third, sorry, the upper one-third and uh, lower two-third. And you go almost uh, perpendicular to the skin. And uh, depending on, again, uh, whether it's... Uh, the build of the patient, uh, whether it's male, female patient, you might actually require a pretty uh, large uh, needle. And uh, I tend to actually use almost uh, the thing. Okay, so there you go. Okay, uh, so a beautiful response. Uh, Uh, it's amazing. I mean, the uh, PNS, the magic of PNS is actually much better than uh, that of the ultrasound. Ultrasound, you see everything. This is uh, uh, like a trick done by magicians. Uh, so it's beautiful. Okay. So, again, uh, the uh, trips... Uh, Tips and tricks for that. Uh, okay. Uh, first thing, uh, like I said, a mark again. And uh, what happens if you don't get the response uh, from the your landmark? So obviously, one thing is that your landmarks may be wrong because, uh, like I said, you may not be able to feel the posterior spiral spine. It's not like the anterior spiral spine, which is easily felt. So you might have your landmarks wrong. And most of the time it's probably too medial. So your line actually goes lower down. The other uh, thing is that uh, you, what you can do is, uh, like uh, for the classical block, so what you do, you mark your initial tuberosity and the greater trochanter. Uh, have a line drawing uh, drawn between the two and then midpoint. And you can imagine that the sciatic nerve actually crosses across so it actually moves across that way so if you don't get at this point okay try to see if you can move keep moving on this this line and you will invariably get the get the uh, response uh, to that uh, as you go lower down you can actually get response lower down as well but be reminded that you have the greater sciatic notch and you have blood vessels there so always uh, Try to aspirate and inject as you go in. Uh, sacral plexus can be easily done uh, with ultrasound, so it's uh, much easier than doing a lumbar plexus. So you can actually do as a sole ultrasound guided technique uh, as well. Thank you.